I bring you greetings from Africa and I salute you for gathering at this very important moment to discuss issues related to our planet and sustainability. It has become very clear that the actions of mankind, of humanity, has stretched the limits of Mother Earth and it's time to call a halt to these mindless actions that threatens the future of not just humanity but of all species on planet Earth. The, the harm that's been done, a lot of that harm has come through irresponsible mining. And it's in the far past, mining was mainly done for utilitarian purposes, to produce things that were very essential for living. But today, a whole lot of mining, for example, of gold, is done so that the gold can be placed in vaults, in banks, and in other secure storehouses, so that people can accumulate value accumulate value in gold, in minerals, and also to feed speculations. Because of the drive for profit and the lack of care for the planet or the people, transnational mining corporations and other mining companies have engaged continuously in reckless extraction, destroying water bodies, destroying forests, destroying farmlands, displacing communities, and creating refugees even in territories owned by people who have been invaded without their proud informed consent. Uh, in, in my experience with mining communities, communities that are resisting mining, one of the things I've found communities ask for is simply dialogue with those who would love to take the resources that they have. And usually, rather than having consultations and open, popular conversations with the people who are directly in the line of fire, of corporate claws and talons and rigs, which are more like gallows, we find that rather than having this conversation, the mining corporations who have pocketed governments and politicians continue to utilize military might to silence communities, to kill uh, defenders of patrimony and territories and it's time for us as peoples around the world to stand together in solidarity and declare very loud and clear that enough is enough. So mining corporations are guilty of ecocide and we have to call it what it is. We cannot allow a development or production system that doesn't care about people to continue to define the path to the future. That the kind of impacts that mining has pushed upon people and communities, uh, these impacts are clearly immoral, unacceptable, and things that can be, there are things that can be avoided. Mining is against life. The race for what is left of minerals has to be truncated and halted if we are ever going to hope to retain life and, as, and protect Mother Earth if, if we hope to have a future where our children and children's children can look around and see a semblance of things that are natural and not things that are plastic, artificial or generated from mining pits around the world. Wherever mining pits have been opened, you can be sure that those communities next to those mining pits don't benefit from the process of the mines. They may have tokens given to them, but there's nothing compared to what they lose their patrimony, their livelihood, their lands, their water bodies, uh, the right to safe environment to live in, the pollution in the air that they, they are now forced to, to breathe. And so when we say yes to life and no to mining, we are talking not only about the survival of humanity, but the survival of the planet. I've visited many mining, many communities where mines are being carried out in Ghana, in Kono, in Sierra Leone, in South Africa where mines, some coal mines for example, have been abandoned for 40, 50 years and they're just more or less burning like hell, fires burning in the caverns of abandoned mines and sinkholes, swallowing buildings and swallowing people. Uh, you know, we just look everywhere. We, it's, it's go beyond, if you go beyond solid minerals and look at the more liquid or semi-liquid minerals, like the tar sand piece of Canada, like the oil fields of Nigeria, the oil fields of, of Latin America, the threat to, 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 to sink rigs in the Yasuni in Ecuador. When you look at all this, you agree with me that more than ever before, we are facing a planetary emergency. There is no way 
that we can continue in this way. The energy required in mining can better be used to do other productive things. We've mined enough already. It's time not just to keep on digging. We can't get out of the crisis by digging deep, deeper into the hole. It's time to use what we have in a responsible way. It is time to close the mine pits and begin a process of remediation. If we are talking about creation of jobs, the restoration of degraded lands will provide enough jobs. And we have enough brains and enough ideas to move into areas that respect the planet, that respect humanity, that is humble enough to recognize that we are not, only, we are not the only living beings on planet Earth. And even the things we call inanimate and non-living is just, we are calling them non-living based on the limitation of our understanding about what is life. And so we're saying very clearly, yes to life, no to mining. I'm happy you gave me this time to send this video message. And I thank you for paying attention to what I've had to say. I've spoken it from my heart. It's so painful to see what mining is doing to the planet and to people and communities. And I wish you very happy deliberations.